Hey! Hello! Hey everyone, this is Peter Stone. And this is Fabio. And Fabio, Fabio's from Italy. Peter, well, he doesn't really know where he's from anymore, but living in Thailand. Fabio we lives do, in actually, Thailand. Yes. We, we, I'm, I don't even know where yeah, I'm from. Tell, yeah, I know. Yes. Well, just tell them what you do a little bit, Fabio. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, I am officially a digital nomad. So <laughs> I travel the world and work on my computer. I, I was born in Italy and um, um, I spent the last seven years in uh, London. And now, since uh, December, I, um, I started traveling. I went to India and then Thailand. And uh, the last five months I've been in Thailand doing my IT work. And uh, the main reason why I chose Thailand was because of uh, um, I love detoxification and the spirituality. And these two things, I found the sweet spot in Koh Phangan to, to do yoga, meditation, and to do my cleanses and enjoy the weather and the fruit there and the people and the vibe. So I feel blissful. Yeah. I'm happy to be here with you, Peter. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's good to see so, you. Yeah, it's always good to see Fabio. I mean, we've known each other for... We've, we've known each other for... Well, years. We, we belong to this uh, group called the Global Information Network a long time ago. And that was about raising your vibration and uh, what was it? Your wish is your command, which is really a very inspirational 12 CD set that inspired both of us. So that's where we met at one of those events. But that group was so cool. They chartered whole ships, 2,500 people. And I am very grateful, uh, and I worked hard at it, but their official jewelry line was a jewelry line of Peter Stone jewelry. So myself and my family, my daughter was 10. She was out socializing with all the speakers and everything and all the people there and got to get decked out and had fun. And we were on the cruise for a week cruises back to back and Fabio we would meet in Las Vegas and all over the place at these different events then Fabio one day said hey man I'm coming to Thailand and I think that was like four years ago <laughs> so we met at Foodland yes and we had a little chat and we didn't have Facebook live then but we had a recording and we recorded a couple of things and Fabio stopped in at Peter Stone Company. He spent a few days before. Where were you going? That were you just visiting? I was going to. I was still going to Copenhagen and Kosamui to do my detox stuff. Detox, yes. yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. the same plan. Yeah. So, so I think I have a pretty good uh, grasp on health. But Fabio blows me away because he he does whole foods. I do whole foods, but he does raw all the time. Raw fruit. Tell, tell him what you do. What, how do you, yes. how do you so, diet? I mean, oh, yeah. he's like, the, I saw him four weeks, four months ago. He stopped at my home, and we had another like meeting like this. He's on his way to London now. So he was, um, he was a pretty good health, but he, he, he's different now. After four months of total like detox, I mean, his whole energy is like at a big high level. And we vibrate because we have really high level, both of us. But tell us. Well, what did thanks, you do? thanks, Peter. I appreciate the uh, the comment. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, detoxification and natural health is my passion, yeah. together with uh, the spiritual work and understanding uh, the nature of uh, who we truly are. And um, yeah, my I've been on this health journey for about between. I like about 18 years. Oh, 18? Yes, and uh, now, two years ago, I found my what I believe to be one of my top teachers that I have, and I certified with him as a detox specialist, and he's Dr. Morse. Dr. Morse, uh, Yes, yeah. and uh, he is on YouTube, all over YouTube, so if somebody is interested in natural health and natural cures, that, that for me, uh, today, is the, is the best, is the top of the mountain, the mm -hmm. guy to go to, and he basically recommends a diet, uh, and this is for detoxification. He he uh, teaches uh, a system of uh, called regenerative detoxification, uh -huh. which is uh, it's not it's not a lifestyle, although it will become sort of a lifestyle when you do it more and more. But um, basically, is using fruits and herbs 
to detox our system mm. and to and to become healthier. Yeah. And uh, the fruit, why? Because um, and please stop me when it's too long. No, no, that's I, okay. I just love just give them the overview. Okay, the yeah. overview. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> because when I, when we talk about fruit, uh, the two main questions that we get from people are, uh, what about the sugar, mm. and where are where are my proteins? Yeah, right. So, so yeah. boom, boom. Okay. So right. The, the, so the sugar, uh, we have to say that it's a very, very different. The sugar that is in the fruit mm -hmm. that Mother Nature put into that, into yeah. there, uh, together with the, all the other substances and um, enzymes and bioflavonoids and phytonutrients, it's a complete different sugar than the refined crap. Sorry for the French, yeah, but the, yeah. the, 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 you know the stuff that we are served when we we are talking about process, processed food. So there is a truth about being careful and mindful of not eating too much sugar or complex carbs. Mm -hmm. But uh, ironically, actually, the complex carbs have more sugar than the fruit oh, because, right. they're, because yeah. they're complex. Right. So if when you eat rice and pasta and bread and, and stuff like that, you're eating more sugar than when you eat fruit. Ah. It's a different sugar. Um, and uh, the Plus, that's refined in most it's, cases. It's also refined, yeah. yes. Um, but even, I mean, even the sugar, the, the fine sugar, uh, the complex carbohydrates that are in rice, even if it's whole rice. Chris said hello. Oh, hello. Hi, Chris. <laughs> Good to see you. It's great to, to, to be connected in real time. Uh, um, yeah, on Facebook. Yeah. And so, yeah, so basically the, the sugar that comes with the fruit is natural sugar yeah. and is, is, uh, is, is healthy. And it's actually our main source of energy because we are carbon-based beings uh -huh. and um, we are carbon-based beings so we use that as a fuel uh -huh. and we can do ketosis but uh, that's an emergency backup system that people use to lose weight but it's not really meant to be the primary source of uh, the primary oper operational mode in which, in which we function so it's stressful for the body and long term it can be detrimental for health as well mm -hmm. something uh, that I, I felt I wanted to mention. By going to the second question, to the what about my proteins? Yeah. <laughs> uh, there is a myth that we need a lot of proteins. So proteins are acids, and uh, if you look at all right, yeah, amino they acids. Are. Yes, yeah. they are. There you go. And Isn't so that an acid is not good, as we know, for the body. The body thrives more in, a, in an alkaline system. I mean, we need both. So we need kind of a balance, but uh, we need to go through the alkaline side of it. So acid basically burns down things, and uh, everything that ends in itis, like uh, arthritis, tendinitis, mm. and all these itis, they are acid states in the body. Yeah. So it's, uh, they are degenerative states of the body. And when we alkalize, we, we heal and we hydrate and we, we, we bring in minerals. And and um, so the proteins, they, we need proteins, of course. Mm -hmm. um, it's like fire and water, you know, acid and, alka and, and alkaline in this in this context. We need both. Yeah. Uh, both are essential, essential, but the excess of, of both can be detrimental. We can drown in water, we can burn in fire, but uh -huh. fire is also good because we can warm up with fire, and uh, water is also good because we can drink it, and you know. So it's only the excess that is, is, is not good. But uh, so the, the the proteins. There is a myth that we need a lot of proteins to be healthy. But if we look at mother's milk, for example, we know that is about 8% of it is carbohydrates, about half of it or less, like 3.5% is, uh, is fat, and less than 1% is proteins, like 0.89% of, of the mother's milk is protein. And this is for a baby. That is a massive body. Oh, so it's not either like the gene, mm -hmm. but growing everything is growing. The bones, the tendons is growing. Everything. You can see the base grow. Like you, you buy the shoes, and after two weeks, the shoes they will fit anymore because mm -hmm. they're growing so fast. And they only need at that stage of growth only less than one percent protein. Really? Yes. Oh yeah. So, so uh, the protein is kind of a myth, and and. And if you eat all proteins, your body's going to be acid. Yes. And if you don't have enough carbs, you're not going to have energy yes. or even sugars, especially natural sugars. And so my diet in the morning is a plate of fruit, which I've posted probably 15 times. But I love papaya. It's a great enzyme for digesting Amazing. proteins, yes. right? Yes. But they told me yesterday at the clinic that I will be going live from, that I was at this morning speaking in Bangkok, a, a holistic clinic, 
Uh, we'll be doing much more live there, and that's about energy balance, uh, your health testing, and finding out where you are. Uh, and that's at a, a starter level. I mean, Fabio is at the advanced level where he's doing real long-term detox to get, well, he won't describe everything that he gets out of the body, but some of it's pretty disgusting. And I used to say, when I was living here in Thailand, you got to drink a lot of water. And uh, yeah, there you go. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you have the water. So in Thailand, they used to have some open sewers and some that weren't. And there's a dry season here. And I would say, your body internally, if you don't put water, it gets like the sewer system, any sewer system, anything that needs to be flushed. And that's how we determine, that's how I determine where the street food is that I should eat. If they have clean running water, flushing water, then I will eat there. But if they don't have any clean running water, you'll never catch me eating there if they got a bucket of no, and it goes for the sewage system in our body. So our lymph system is kind of our sewage system, and you can't get rid of that toxin unless you can't get rid of that toxin unless you're physically active. You have to get your uh, lymph glands moving, and you can massage it, you can beat it, but like a trampoline's good. Remember, we learned yes, about yes. the uh, rebounding. Yes. Rebounding, yes. rebounding. I still have that. I carried a rebounder back to the United States, and I bought one here way back from Tony Robbins, mm -hmm. actually, back in 1999. So we've been doing a lot of studying of the masters together. Yes. And it's so, such a good point, Peter, about the interesting because uh, this is one of the missing things in the Detroit community. That's a big, most of the people in the Detroit community really focus on the bowels, which is great, yeah, yeah. but it's not enough. So yeah. the, it's uh, it's both. It's the bowels and it's the, it's the lymphatic system because the lymphatic system is really like the... Uh, it's like if you have a kitchen and a sink. Mm -hmm. um, the, the kitchen or a septic tank, let's say, in the house, you know, where the stuff Right. So the kitchen is like the blood, bringing uh, the, the supply of nutrients to the cell. Okay. And the lymphatic system is like the sink or the, the, the toilet, you know, just getting stuff. And the problem is that we focus a lot as a society on nutrition, bringing more supply, 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 but we don't put uh, enough emphasis on cleansing. Uh, and the and the of the the and the yes. Proteins, acids, yes. everything. Right? Exactly. It's like, yeah. it's like if you look at a house, like a complex, um, and you have like, let's say that you cook every day in your kitchen, and then you, you take the garbage, and rather than putting the garbage out, you put it in your living room, okay? And then the next day, oh, another yeah. bag, and right. the next day, another bag. And after a week, after a month, after, there is this, all this garbage in the is piling up. Yeah. And that is but so even though you keep putting good stuff in there, it's not well, enough. You gotta have water, water will help some of it, but you gotta get that lymph system activated. Kevin, hey, Gary, oh, how you guys? And uh, talking about the lymph system, uh, of course, as you mentioned, Peter, the movement is is super important. But, but the other important aspect, that's why it's good, that is about food, uh, because the fruit. It is also acid, but in good way, because it's the alkaline ash. Uh, I mean, it's, it's acid if you measure like radiation. Yeah. But it has metabolic, the bottom of the metabolic process is uh, is alkaline. Ah. So it uh, has uh, lived in body, uh, it lives in the body alkaline ashes, mm -hmm. which is good. Alkaline uh, ash. Yes. Right. But that astringency that the fruit brings helps. It's like when you, you know, when you clean, uh, if you cook something really busy in a pan, The same uh, thing as our body. Yes, yeah, because uh, like it has a degreaser. Exactly. Eat it's lemons it. and eat limes. A degreaser. Yes. I actually, as a little, yes. every morning 
I take my glass and I fill it. Well, at least I ate in my house. It was really fresh with lime for drink. And then I found a new vinegar, a coconut vinegar. It's like half the price of the imported uh, apple cider vinegar. And so I give a good shot of apple cider vinegar with a glass of water. But I do put my nine essential amino acids in there. And I throw a little GR formula and stir it up and shoot it down with the other stuff. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's, so I didn't even yeah. know what I was doing, but I, yeah, I read that I should be eating lemon and lime, but yes. they didn't know I was degreasing. And uh, because they, yeah, the yeah, cool. system is a lipid based system. Yeah. So, and this uh, body uses use lipids or the fats as a buffer system for dogs. So, the body just uses its own toxins. Um, and the lymphatic system in the world should be like, uh, like a mountain river, as you said earlier, like this fresh water. Yeah. But in the modern society in which we live, uh, uh, it's more like a stagnant pond. Mm. And, uh, it's, and it's, it is greasy and it's um, confining because the, the body is using the liquid base. Mm. And when it slows down, it becomes like a pond uh, where it was tough. And till yeah. if you are not bad, it's like the bacteria in the septic tank that happens. They have to be there because they are breaking down. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. So, <coughs> the bacteria. The dimension of the, of the most part of the human is still with the antibiotics. Mm -hmm. The bacteria is just because there is a rain for them. There is a rain, they invite bacteria to be there because they, that's what they do. They, they feed on that stuff and that's their purpose. Yeah. So, it's not about killing the bacteria because, because then you have to deal with the dead bodies of the bacteria as well. To, <laughs> that is more doing some good Yes, uh, the word that <coughs> right? it's more like uh, modifying the terrain and having this lymphatic system, this river of life, starting to flow again. Mm -hmm. To um, and and uh, it's and another super important aspect of this, without going to deep, but this is important to mention, is that, that we need to rebuild the foundation of the kidneys. Uh -huh. the Opening of the so, so the other opening and the other opens the skin. The skin is called the third kidney. Huh? And uh, so when we had started the skin, like a or psoriasis, and all these things, this is just silly. This time we have to the body in oh, what way. Right? Ah, yes, in what ways it can because there are no other options. So we want to keep our body clean, drink a lot of lemon and uh, things that acid fruits will flush us out and yes. us. and uh, all the fruit in general, the acid fruit is the most astringent and the most powerful, but sometimes people have to take it easy and uh, so build up to that level only progressively, mm -hmm. not, not jumping right away into a uh, fruit that is the most astringent, although eating, uh, I mean drinking the lemon water in the morning would be a great thing to do. Uh, uh, but I'm just saying this because maybe some people feel compelled to jump into uh, eating only citrus this week, which is yeah. going to be a very tough case. <laughs> and for some people, good if they already have that. But for other people, if they're eating something like drinking or smoking, and they jump into it right away, it's going to be quite a roller coaster mm -hmm. journey emotionally, yeah. mentally, and physically. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, so if anyone uh, actually has any questions on that, you can just leave messages. Fabio, <coughs> he's an expert on this. I'm just, uh, I read a little, I do a little, I read a little, I do a little more. But he's studied, uh, studied uh, probably a master at this point because the things I've known about him in the last four years about the detox is very, uh, he's been like full on. So, so apparently, I mean, they get oh, very long, very deep. And I were discussing how you were for people who want a better one charge. I want to chill out, take a 10 day break. Uh, this clinic that will be you go to petersonlive.com. We posted, I'm not sure it's there yet, like an application to get blood testing. There's a menu of blood testing, of detox, anti aging, but I'm speaking the clinic of. 
about changing to a new term that goes more alignment with my mind management and my word sculpting, which is called youthing. Anti-aging sounds, well, it pulls my mind down when I use that word. I it's kind of like, it's not uplifting. Yeah. And it's like, oh my God, I gotta, you know, I gotta think about finding this thing. And, and it's just, totally are, are less than useful. So a couple of clinics I've gone to in hospitals here in Thailand, uh, talking to the marketing manager, so I'm in deep contact at this post clinic, has considered being one of the only clinics that would have a youth program as opposed to the anti-aging you see everywhere. Well, I'm quite frankly pretty damn tired of the word aging because it's BS. My focus is on getting younger and staying more youthful as I get wiser because now I've got wisdom to know the difference. And mm -hmm. Finally, Peter, I, I, I so agree with this because <coughs> the mind thinks in pictures. So when we think about what we don't want and I aging, yeah. it's like thinking about what we don't want. So it's negative goal setting. That's right. It's, aging. Yes. I mean, like, you can say like the like anti but the focus is still. Yes. It's like being against something and what we resist persists because attention brings energy, right? So if I am anti something, I am keeping it on because uh, it's like, for example, keeping it in your conscience. You're not feeding it with your attention, yes. which gives it. Yes. So it's like, and it's like in terms of visualization and uh, future pain. Very or, good, yeah. It's, you know, when we ask, for example, they want uh, a deal partner, they want somebody. There is a big difference between saying, I want somebody who doesn't smoke, or I want somebody who goes to the gym. Right. Because somebody who doesn't smoke, what's the main picture? Mm -hmm. Is smoking. Right. So that doesn't fall, and remain, the smoke remains, and so what you're going to attract or manifest most likely, because the, the mental picture is. The smokers is, keep showing up, and they yes. wonder why, why I can't have someone who's going to the gym all the time. Yes. But if you think I want somebody who runs and or goes to the gym or Fit, does yoga and, yeah. or goes into fitness, that's a positive. So I agree with you 100%. Much better to say I want youth and pro, youth or pro health yeah. rather than anti mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. You can uh, look out for the pro youth thing and youth thing post coming up. Uh, so we're at a um, uh, place coffee, and I, the last time Fabio came through, I somehow I clicked and gave him the wrong directions, and we're meeting again today, and he says, Peter, I only have your old directions, so I'm going to that <laughs> coffee place, so that's where I'll be, because I don't know where any other place, <laughs> he didn't get the address at my house when he was there. But, yeah, it's, so, a, it's so nice. Yeah, so it's, this is a nice place. It's yeah. chill. It's, it's means good luck. Yes, exactly. And so, good coffee <laughs> and good water. My water's dry, but I'll get it. <laughs> yeah, and right across the street, are some, oh, there's a wall, there's some beautiful, this is what we're looking at. That's a nice little patio. We'll give you a little view around the, there's, there's a bakery here. This is kind of the, uh, it's a fusion pie restaurant, really. They are working to attract the um, Western. Uh, so there's skin and there's most white toast with butter and <laughs> stuff we don't eat. Yes. But there's great coffee and juice, um, you know, fresh juice, fresh juice, juice and stuff. So it turns out, and massage place I go to all the time. It's like only four doors down here. So I don't know, Fabio wants to get it massage before he goes back to uh, the UK for, he said, what are you going to do? Gonna go to the UK? I'm going three weeks in, uh, to be in London because yeah. I still have there, uh, when I left my flat uh, six months ago, I put everything in a storage place and I have to go to sort that out and get rid of some stuff. Less mm -hmm. is more. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so I'm going to spend a couple weeks there, then I'm going to Italy, yeah. it's me. Yeah, where are we from? Uh, Near, uh, the city is called Sondrio, uh -huh. which is near the uh, Como Lake, Lake Como. Uh -huh. 
normally people in fashion they know that because of all the okay. problems. So oh, maybe it's a very good plan. Oh, yeah, yes, so it's I know uh, that near the, 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 the border with Switzerland. Yeah, sure. And, uh, That's what I thought. That you told me. Yes, it's time. like only two hours. It's like 100 kilometers. Like, no, a little more, like 100 miles uh, driving from man mm -hmm. uh, in the mountains, in the, the pre-Alps, in the mountains uh, near Switzerland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's going to be beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, now, now it's getting like uh, uh, spring is coming mm -hmm. and uh, um, I should already be there, but uh, they say it's still cold. Really, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Yeah, from, coming from here yeah. it's going to be chilly, but yeah. you know, here it's so hot. Yeah. It's, I love it anyway. And then you say you're going to where? And then I'm going to Sardinia. Uh, I'm going to first go a little to see our friends. Yeah. And then Sardinia to do like uh, probably. To, uh, it's gonna be a month in Sardinia, and then we are doing the low box of the and Fed. We're gonna do a uh, probably or either a grape fast, it's only grape. Yeah, like grape Italy, we know, yeah. Yes, or a juice fast for uh, three to four weeks. Yeah. So that's the plan, and oh, we were still, still working on it. Well, on you all day. need a plane to fly back to Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then Thai, probably then coming back to Thailand. Uh, Taiwan first, maybe then Thailand. Taiwan. Taiwan. Yeah. Any re re reason for Taiwan? Yeah, I, I, I love, uh, I love the oolong tea. Oh yeah, uh, me too. Uh, uh, I, when I used to work on ships, I used to go to Kalong, uh, uh, Kilong in the north, or, okay. and come up in the bottom. Okay. And I actually spent three weeks there, and I would go and load up on that ship I worked on. I didn't like the food, so I was. An engineer and I had this big stretch on this overlooking water view every morning over the front of the ship and I would go to these one in Taiwan mm -hmm. and I got uh, I, I didn't know what it was white it's like uh, I thought it was seaweed but it's actually a uh, fungus it's it's like mushroom okay in the market but I also went to the tea I got like four or five different kinds of it's tea so good. isn't it and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's high fermented so it's mm -hmm. very low in it's like, uh, so it doesn't give a yeah. but the, yeah, the fragrance, they, they even have like a sniffing cap there. Uh, they have like the, the sipping cap and the mm -hmm. sniffing cap. So you put the tea in the time when it's away, you put the tea first in the, it's uh, long and tall and and, uh, and, mm -hmm. and then you you put it in the, the sipping cup because then you smell the, the, the just air. Uh -huh. Yeah, the fragrance from, from the, fragrance from yeah. the so in the East, also a lot of the Taiwanese instances, oh, really? for meditation instances. Oh, so yeah. Yeah, well, uh, next time, we'll like yeah, bring some. Yeah, check out. <laughs> cool. Well, that's what happens when you travel around the world. And, by the way, Fabio's working full time. Nine to five. He got a nine to five job. Yeah. But, he, his office is wherever he wants it to be. He made a deal with a company. And he works online with them, and so now he's got his whole, like, in-office pay. But he has to do what he's passionate about and be where he wants to be. I mean, he scored this job last uh, January, and he went out and started a couple of different businesses. And, you know, he's learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. We, all, we all get out there, and that's kind of a tough year's thing. We were talking about how and maybe like a cruise to Sri Lanka or something for a week and um, do some detox, get some real good Thai massage, count the stars, get some yoga, stretching, breathing, creative writing just to get some stuff out of your head, download and unwind. I mean, it's limitless. But I... I can promise you one thing, if you went on a cruise with us, and there's a few other people involved, you'll never be the same on the outside. I promise you. And you will leave with a new vision, and a new horizon, and elevated energy 
uh, on life, and it'll give you a different perspective every time you go, right? Every time you take a challenge. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, uh, Peter, I mean, this this uh, idea of recording this video started because we were, we were just talking and we said, man, I mean, this is so transformational. Uh, the detoxification process is so transformational. It's like blowing oh, right. off the lid of your potentiality. It's, it's like, <laughs> really, you don't even know where you're going to be. And I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Yeah, about, yeah uh, uh, tell them about what you were telling me about taking a test before you keep talking, take a test after. Oh, yeah. Your ability for your mind to yeah, operate, your, your intelligence is better. Your ability to operate your mind is better. Yes, truly. I mean, the, the mind, or the, the, your vision on your first, the, the way your mind operates and your emotion, not the emotional stability in your of self-actualization mm -hmm. and understanding who we really are yeah. it's amazing but even without going there uh, the, at the mental level there is so much clarity coming in and so much potential even to be productive in life and to be you know, remember things and uh, ideas and the clarity because and this just makes sense because if you think about our machinery, our biological machinery, when it's clogged with the uh, with stagnant, oh. time, it's always lost. Oh so that's your, your car. I mean, I would bring their car to do the checkup. Uh, yeah, I know, but not people they do. I know. It's like putting the bed. They to the bed you know, and everything. But when it comes to ourselves, yeah. doing the best way to do best because Nonetheless, is needed to right. play the game in which you are in your life, you know, in which we are playing or living. That's it. And if you're not around to take care of your dog or kitty cat, um, or you are, it'll still be fine. The house, not here. Yeah. But you need, we have a capacity to either go or straight up. Or we can go at any angle we want. We can go slowly up or we can go slowly, painfully down. So we have the choice, and and I used to talk about that on TV show, stepping up, stepping up, making 2017 the best year yet. Well, 2018, 2019, they get better and better. Every year is going to be best. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> so we got to do this good stuff. I mean, you don't have to do it. I just thought why not sharing this because this has been more right. the journey that we both experienced directly mm -hmm. from and it's so much in my mind about uh, what shit and uh, just, just in the spirit of giving giving value and bring this topic to the attention of uh, the most people we can because it's really, it's really spreading the love and spreading the, the sure. good vibes and yeah. the energy. Yeah. And we'll be doing a few uh, Zoom calls from London and Thailand. London and Manchester, but see, I've taken my jet ski out someplace, and I don't know where I'm going anywhere between Massachusetts and Canada. Um, I've got this trip, it's not in plan, it's just kind of like what's the weather saying? Where's the wind blowing? Where's the energy? So, wherever the Zoom call is going to be, um, I'll start in you. Yes, I don't know. So, so just check it out and then. And, and, and um, I learned a ton of stuff. Me too. So, yeah, so, so we're, we we're all learning, learning a ton of stuff. So if you want to learn a ton of stuff about health and lifting up the energy, man, and hey, stop over to Thailand sometime. Love to have you. I mean, get some real good fruit, vegetables, food. Okay. Yeah, it's such a lovely place, Thailand. It's a super, super lovely. I'm sure you're going to love it. Yes, yeah, special people here. And Fabio, he spends, where's the island? Copangan. Yeah, Copangan, where it's really lush and green. It is clear and fresher than it is here in Bangladesh. So many people. 
Uh, so he gets that added oxygenation and probably probably more ozone down there. Too, mm -hmm. I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's still a kind of a pristine island. Uh, there is no airport. It's kind of a takes a little bit uh, like a day to get there. Yeah, it's an but, adventure. Uh, it's an adventure. Yes, yeah. you have to take, take the ferry. And uh, but it's once you're there. Is like super, super. You are, you are into the nature and uh, it's a completely different vibe. Yeah, so that up to life won't stop me. So I hear people talking about struggle. Oh man, you know, get the struggle. Oh, one I used to say is the struggle. I, mean, I get that. I, I eat. Uh, struggle, but I, like to, I mean, I think uh, my life, I didn't look at struggle because I like anti aging. If I focus on struggle, uh, then what are we going to do? What's my country? I'm always going to have some, right? I mean, that's such a point. And they should, what am I thinking about motivation? Who do I want to eat in a hotel? Someone who is fit or someone who's mm -hmm. anti smoke yes, or a non smoker, yeah. right? So, so I took that. And I've always me just because my nature is always to turn it around. Well, it's not quite half full, but there's water there, so I'll have some. Yes, and it's also refillable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so thinking about some people are going to say, oh my God, it's such a long, I got to take a whole day from Bangkok out to this island. Yeah, yeah it's sure. Yes, yeah. so, totally worth it. Yeah. Alright, so sun setting. Cafe's empty. Tell the children, well, you go when you want to go, but we're here and, and hope that you found some value and we're just talking. We wanted, we wanted it on the record. Thanks for having me on this video. Yeah, and, well. uh, we're gonna go continue to enjoy each other. Since it's only eight minutes from the airport, I gave him a ride, and no, don't, you know, we chill, have a good time. My, who knows, my dip is pulled to, you know. All right, we'll see you all later. Bye, everyone. So, the cop.